Where have all the forest gone? Over the past two decades, we've seen staggering losses of the world's forests due to logging, surface mining for coal, pipeline construction, wildfires, catastrophic weather conditions, and commercial and highway development. Immediate actions must be taken to address this global, national, and local crisis. Globally, Brian Swim and Thomas Berry warned us of these environmental disasters in The Universe Story in 1992. The pathos is that we, humans, are deliberately terminating the most awesome splendor that the planet has yet attained. We are extinguishing the rainforest, the most luxuriant life system of the entire planet. Each year we are destroying a rainforest area the size of Oklahoma. Without trees, Earth cannot dispose adequately of the chemical residues spewed into the atmosphere by the burning of fossil fuels. Nationally, the Oregon Forest Resources Institute warned us that clear cutting can have a large number of deleterious effects, including but not limited to erosion and soil damage, changes in CO2 levels, risk of natural disasters, loss of health and habitat, and aesthetic concerns. Locally in Northeast Greensboro, Thousands of acres of trees were destroyed during the construction of I-840 in 2018 and 2019. The construction of strip malls, gas stations, multifamily housing, a retirement center, and a 23-acre luxury apartment complex was or will be the cause of destroying urban forest land along each artery in Greensboro. Some of the city's largest trees and a wildlife sanctuary were destroyed along a two-mile stretch of Lawndale Drive in 2018 and 2020 due to the construction of patio homes, office and storage buildings, a 30-acre apartment complex, and expansion of the Greensboro Zoo and parking lot. Globally, carbon dioxide levels reached an all-time high. 415 parts per million in May of 2019. Human activities that increase CO2 in the atmosphere are electricity production, transportation, building products, and deforestation. According to the weather.com's advanced computer modeling, the Earth's atmosphere contains more carbon dioxide today than at any time in at least 3 million years. High levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere cause climate changes and turbulent weather conditions. Strong winds and heavy rains have destroyed many trees in Greensboro in recent years. Homes, parks, and schools have also been damaged by hurricanes, floods, and tornadoes. Across the nation, high carbon emissions have also caused hurricane force blizzards, droughts, wildfires, mudslides, melting icebergs, and rising sea levels. Pollution from fossil fuel combustion release polyaromatic hydrocarbons into the environment. These known carcinogens can result in various types of cancer, human mutation, reproductive issues, and extinction to entire species. According to the National Cancer Institute, cancer is among the leading cause of death worldwide. Locally, cancer has been the leading cause of death in Guilford County since 2008. 46% of the deaths are from lung cancer.
Heart disease, upper respiratory illnesses, and viruses are more prevalent in industrial zones and urban areas due to local pollutants like PAH, particulate matter, ozone, etc. Trees help filter out these local pollutants. Studies have shown that heart and lung conditions developed as a result of increased exposure to air pollution put people at higher risk from the worst impacts of COVID-19. These illnesses and future epidemics can be prevented by prohibiting clear-cutting and enforcing strong emission standards because trees act as our planet's lungs by taking in carbon and purifying our air. Deforestation and high levels of carbon dioxide and contaminants in our environment lead to unhealthy and displaced people, climate refugees, and a mass extinction of species. After The Great Work by Thomas Berry was published in 1999, Thousands of communities started responding to this massive crisis locally and globally by regulating carbon emissions and caring for the land by planting trees, community gardens, non-mowing ground covers, and cypress or fir trees along highway and property boundaries. The city of Greensboro responded by forming a partnership with Greensboro Beautiful and trained volunteers to plant trees in their neighborhoods and parks through the Neighborwoods Program. However, during the surge in economic growth beginning in 2016, it became impossible for volunteer groups to replace the number of trees that were being destroyed in Greensboro. Many cities and communities across the nation have called moratoriums or curtailed the clear-cutting of mature trees and forests. According to Dr. David W. Orr, by halting deforestation, planting trees, creating a 20,000 acre green belt around the city, growing foods locally, converting to renewable energy and limiting gas-powered vehicles on city streets, Oberlin, Ohio reduced its carbon footprint to zero. We cannot fight climate change and diseases without our forests. It's that simple. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, all cities must push for powerful climate saving policies. We must save our health supporting forests. This is a critical time for Greensboro to take steps to protect our mature trees and forests. Decision makers, please remember, trees are a source of oxygen. They clean our increasingly polluted air and support good health. Please call a moratorium on clear cutting. Save our trees. The Piedmont Plateau's group's petition to the mayor and city council members of Greensboro states, hundreds of acres of trees have recently been destroyed in Greensboro. Immediate actions must be taken to protect all mature trees and forests. We strongly urge you to take immediate action by one, declaring a moratorium on the clear cutting of mature trees, and two, enforcing strong regulations for replanting native, medium-sized trees and non-mowing ground covers on cleared property and planting fir or cypress trees along property boundaries. Thank you.